For those of you who have read the programme, I should let you know that I'm not James Thompson. Uh, my name is Shashti Boryash and I'm also an Associate Vice President. It's a pleasure for me to welcome you to this graduation ceremony in the splendid surroundings of the Whitworth Hall. I know some of you will have travelled quite a way to be here today and we all appreciate your presence. This is a very special day for you graduates. Whichever degree you've completed, this is a day to be rightly proud of what you have achieved. It's also a special day for friends and family of the graduates. You are likely to have played a supporting role in the graduates' achievements, not least through emotional and financial support during the period of study, and I want to thank you on behalf of the university. Graduation is also a special time for the university, for me and for my colleagues, we have enjoyed having you here and we're watching you develop over the years. You all chose to do your studying at the University of Manchester. That was a good choice. <laughs> Laughing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a prestigious university which does well in national and international rankings and which is involved in national and international co collaborations in research and in teaching. Our major research beacons include world-leading cancer research, as well as research addressing global inequalities. In addition to ambitious goals in teaching and research, the University of Manchester also sets itself demanding targets when it comes to social responsibility. We have award-winning projects such as the School Governor Initiative, which has got over 500 staff and alumni involved as primary and secondary school governors. We had the project 10,000 Actions, which asked every member of staff to take part in collective measurable improvements towards sustainability. On your way here, you're quite likely to have come across some serious construction work. We're investing one billion pounds over 10 years in our campus master plan. 
which involves, for instance, the new Manchester engineering campus development and substantial new build and refurbishment to Alliance Manchester Business School. If some of the building work got in your way, I do apologize. Please come back when it's all done and you will see a nicer, greener campus. What makes the university great is not bricks and mortar, it's our people, staff and students. During your time here, each one of you will in your own way have contributed to making us who we are. Not only our current students shape the university, our alumni are important too. And I hope you will continue to play a role in making us who we are also in future. There are around 350,000 former students from all over the world still in contact with the university. It's customary on occasions like these to tell you of the famous people connected to the university. The atom was first split here by Ernest Rutherford. Alan Turing developed the first programmable computer here. And Benedict Cumberbatch, who played Turing in the film about his life, studied here. If you walked around campus before you entered the building, you may have seen information about our 25 Nobel Prize winners, most recently the 2010 Nobel Prize for Physics. Our alumni have made national and international impressions, not just in academic achievements, but in a broad range of fields. Our former students include Anna Ford, a broadcaster who was the first female newsreader on ITV, and Margaret Beckett, a Labour politician and the longest serving female MP. It's quite possible that some years from now, when one of my successors presents degrees like I'm doing today, that your name is included on the list of famous graduates. However, whether you reach fame or not, what I wish for you is that you find your niche in life, professionally and personally, a place where your knowledge and skills are valued and used, and where you have the right level of challenge to develop further as a professional and as a person, while at the same time feeling secure in your own abilities. I know that the degree you completed at the University of Manchester will have prepared you well for this. However, I thought I would still take this opportunity to offer you three pieces of advice. Firstly, if things aren't looking perfect, if you haven't got the right job yet, if you haven't found that person to share your life with yet, or if an election result didn't go your, the way you had expected, have confidence that things will change for the better. Secondly, be aware that there is rarely a perfect time for decisions and choices, or if there is, we don't know it until afterwards. Therefore, my second piece of advice to you is to be open to opportunities at all times and to take your chances when they come along. The choices will not always work out perfectly, but then you reload and try again. The first president of the merged University of Manchester, Professor Alan Gilbert, frequently said, there's nothing wrong with failing as long as you get it over with quickly. So my third piece of advice would then be, don't be afraid of failing, just learn to do it quickly. So to sum up, even when things don't look too good, good stuff will happen and you should be re ready to react to stuff without fear of failure. That's enough advice from me. All that remains for me now is to encourage you again to keep in touch with the university and with my colleagues who have taught you. I hope you're aware that our alumni association, our careers office and our library will still offer you benefits now that you're not students but graduates of the University of Manchester. And now I will pass over to Professor Jane Worthington to speak on behalf of the School of Biological Sciences. Thank you very much. So good morning. On behalf of my colleagues in the School of Biological Sciences, I would like to add our congratulations to all of our graduates here today. Today is a very special day, and I really hope you'll all make it one that you'll remember for the rest of your lives. Indeed, graduation represents the start of a new chapter in your lives. To get to this point, you've all worked exceptionally hard, and I know that for some of you, this has been in the face of personal challenges or adversity. 
Indeed, this year more than any before, Manchester and Manchester students have had to show resilience and true strength of character. As Shirsty has mentioned, the role of your parents in helping you get to this point is, of course, worthy of mention. And I'd ask you uh, to join with me in giving them a round of applause to thank them for all their support, both emotional and financial. So our students graduating today have come not only from the UK, but also from over the world to pursue their desired degree programme. We have students from China, Malaysia, Singapore, Romania, Bulgaria, and Norway, to name just a few countries. We are proud that much of our teaching is research-led here, which means that our students have been taught by truly expert staff many of whom are recognised as international leaders in their fields of research. This year, for the first time, we're delighted to have students graduating from our Masters or MSci programme, which is a new four-year degree in which students spend their final year working in a research laboratory. The first cohort of students has done extraordinarily well, two-thirds of them graduating with first-class honours. In addition to those graduating with an MSci, Many of our students have also spent four years studying, having completed our four year with industrial experience degree programme, which allows students to spend a year working in an industrial setting or in research labs in prestigious universities across the world. One of our strengths here in Manchester is the breadth of our biological science disciplines that students are able to study. We currently offer 22 different degree programmes with an A to Z of subjects ranging from anatomy to zoology. Students on these degree programmes have the opportunity to complete a final year project which is tailored to their interests and future career aspirations. These may include laboratory research, education projects which run in partnerships with lo local schools and involve students giving lessons to children from primary age right up to A level. Other students take part in enterprise projects where they design the marketing of an innovative scientific discovery. Interestingly, last night I had the pleasure to watch two YouTube videos produced by our students, Izzy Taylor and Tom Parry, as part of their science communication projects. Izzy's video was on bumblebees, a lesson in conservation. And Tom's was on the peppered moth, an example of evolution in action. They were both fantastic as good as anything you'd see on the one show or the Northwest tonight. And I, importantly, in this digital age, they'd both got already over a thousand hits. So I urge you to watch them. And I'd also urge you to check out, do a Google search and check out the Protein Engineering Song, which has been sung and composed by one of our biochemistry students, Rachel Hatton. It's amazing. These are just a few great examples of the transferable skills that students learn during their projects, and it's easy to see how they might help them play a role, help play a role in enhancing their employability and perhaps helping them secure jobs that they aspire to in the future. The skills that students learn during this period will play an important role. Sorry, many of our graduates will go on to continue their studies, either taking um, a master's degree or a PhD. And I'm truly delighted that many students have decided to stay in Manchester and have already accepted PhD positions in laboratories within our faculty. Other graduates have successfully secured jobs in the UK and around the world, some in careers related to their biological science degrees, whilst others are entering entirely new professions. For graduates taking gap years so that they can travel or maybe do voluntary work abroad, it's worth remembering that the University Careers Service remains available to you to help you for some years after you've graduated. The achievements of our students clearly are not restricted to the academic. Many of you have obtained your degrees whilst devoting time and energy to other non-academic but equally challenging and rewarding pursuits. We're very proud of those contributions, not only of your academic work, the way you've engaged fully with our university. For example, you may have played a role in the peer-assisted study scheme, we call it PASS, running groups for first-year students 
helping them in their transition to university lives. Some of you will also have acted as past coordinators and helped organise the whole scheme, which is really no easy task. Other students have contributed by acting as student ambassadors, helping with our open days and showing parents and future students around when they come for open days or interviews. Lastly, I want to highlight those students who have won Outstanding Academic Achievement Awards, which are given out by the faculty to the three students with the best exam performance. The winners this year are Vanessa Sokliva, um, studying for a BSc in Genetics with Industrial Experience, Ben Hale, a BSc in Biochemistry with Industrial Experience, and Abigail Elliott, an MSci in Biology. So additional congratulations today to Vanessa, Ben and Abigail, who will be presented with their prizes following completion of our graduation ceremony. So finally, from the School of Biological Sciences, we really wish you all the very best for the future and truly hope that you go on to realise all your ambitions. And please do keep in touch with us and let us know what you've been doing, perhaps through the Alumni Association. So congratulations. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Anatomical Sciences with honours, Ali Al Azawi. <laughs> Michael Paul Gregg. Daniel Harris. Rosie Mason. Marifa Alpha. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science Intercalated Award in Anatomical Sciences with honours, Andrew Robinson. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry with honours, Anika Arif. Adam Broderick. Anna Frances Fleming. Niall Daniel Johnson. Sue Fan Jane Lee. Fanorius Nicolaus Michaelidis. Andrew Neal. Elizabeth Robbins. Eleanor Rodriguez. Lauren Roscoe. <laughs> Philip Duncan Skurrock. <laughs> David Speedman. <laughs> Jessica Stanmore. Rupin Taylor. <laughs> Lai Mei Wan. <laughs> George Wheatcroft. <laughs> Ben 
Jacob Alexander Williams. Fiona C. Ching Yao. Jeremy Yeo. And in biochemistry with industrial or professional experience with honours, Rebecca Kate Atkinson Coyle. Anka Denise Tutor. James Edward Evans. And also being awarded the Outstanding Academic Achievement Award, Ben Hale. Katie Louise Holmes. Kai Roger Smith Hove. Christopher Hughes. Nikki Maria Kudis. Patrick Lawson Statham. Erwin Reddy Selvan. Matthew Simpson. Rachel Catherine Thomas. Alexander Townsend. Alicia Kalpner Varja. Jessica Watts. Ella Rate. And in biochemistry with a modern language with honours, Maya Elizabeth Harvey. Rachel Hatton. Hope Isabel Needs. Killan Schaefer. And for the degree of Integrated Master of Science in Biochemistry with Honours, Jordan Luke Morris. <laughs> Jessica Wainwright. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biology with Honours, Hugo Dennison Oliver Adam. Mohammed Shafiq bin Harun. <laughs> Noor Suzwani Su binti Mohammed Shamshir. <laughs> Sophie Boyd. Robert Kaj. <laughs> Felicia Chen Chin N. <laughs> Ellie Chesterton. <laughs> J. 
Joseph Courtfriend. <laughs> Oliver Craven Todd. <laughs> Catherine Curran. <laughs> Tim Dodgson. Christopher Dodson. <laughs> Matthew Thomas Ewing. <laughs> Claire Louise Gannon. <laughs> Samuel Hay. Siti Nabila Binti Jamali. Bradley Andrew Lyle. Peter James Kevin McGinn. Richard Melvin. Jack Nichols. Nural Shuhada Binti Nuralam. Samuel James Piggott. Rory Platt. Charlotte Poole. Patrick Porter. Shannon Poyner. <laughs> Nashua Binti Rossley. <laughs> Caroline Margareta Zauer. <laughs> Isabel Stevenson. Henry Joshua Thompson. <laughs> Daniel Ward. <laughs> Adriana Elizabeth Whittle. And in biology with industrial and or professional experience with honours, Joanne Brattle. <laughs> Jordan Michael Bulmer. <laughs> James Engelbach. Emily Hay. <laughs> Tammy I. Tian Ho. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Keats. <laughs> Anna Kell. Sarah Kendall. Yeah. 
James Robert Letton. <laughs> Leah Manning. <laughs> Thomas Parry. <laughs> Zoe Ann Smith. Anna Solston. <laughs> Matthew Robert Wharton. <laughs> Lauren Wilburn. <laughs> Robert Wilcox. And in biology with a modern language with honours, Caroline Mary Cahill. <laughs> Philip Manning. <laughs> Darcy May Ruhlman. And for the degree of Integrated Master of Science in Biology, with honours, Hugo Fullerton. <laughs> Lucy May McGowan. <laughs> James Whitfield. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biology with Science and Society with honours, Andras Thompson. <laughs> and in Biology with Science and Society with Industrial and or Professional Experience with honours, Ellie Welsh. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Developmental Biology with honours, Bayan Kagsin. <laughs> Karnian Dustar. <laughs> Samantha Longland. Dean James Shaw. <laughs> Holly Katrina Simpson. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Science Intercalated Award in Developmental Biology with honours, Megan Williamson. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biotechnology, with honours, Yanru Ai. <laughs> Nur Fatin Sakinar Binti Rosman. <laughs> Wan Nur Aisha Zara Binti Hamili. Natalia Oligovna Koryashova. <laughs> Ari Mani Ayuk. <laughs> Svetlan Stanimirov Vasilev. <laughs> Yu Zhang. Carla Estefania Zuniga.
and in biotechnology with industrial professional experience with honours, Laura Maria Horger. Jack Said. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Genetics with honors, Maria Berguanu. Misha Campbell. Sarah Hayton. Joe Pulican. Mariam Michal Khan. Yashin Egi Ogia. <laughs> Alina Gabriela Pandele. <laughs> Eliska Sirokova. <laughs> Maria Alexandra Visa. Sophie Marie Walker. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Genetics with Industrial and or Professional Experience with Honors, Harriet E. Burt. <laughs> George Matthew Campbell. Maria Imran. <laughs> Ginte Kutkete. <laughs> Ju Pin Ui. <laughs> Francis Ruth Shaw. And also being awarded the Outstanding Academic Achievement Award, Vanessa Plamenova Sokleva. <laughs> Emily Charlotte Squire. <laughs> and in Genetics with the Modern Language with honors, Portia Maria Holyoke. Hannah Stocks. <laughs> and for the degree of Integrated Master of Science in Genetics with honors, Alan James Stephen Bevan. <laughs> Bethan Rachel Derbyshire. <laughs> James Sparkus. Charlie Hatcher. Pratik <laughs> Patel. <laughs> Martin Sidaway. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Biochemistry with honors, Jahan Zaib Akram. Ruby Jo Lara Babington. Jake Charles Bennett. James Alexander Ellis. Kirsten Greenaway.
Emma Jones. <laughs> Inderpal Singh Kuna. <laughs> Cheng San Lei. And in medical biochemistry with industrial and or professional experience with honors, Rebecca Biss. Yay! Holly Jean Louise Fawkes. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Biochemistry with honors, Moran Mahandra. <laughs> and in Medical Biochemistry with Industrial and or Professional Experience with honors, Jennifer Sharon Haynes. Alexander Eamon Patrick Loftus. Harriet Mather. Gemini Patel. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Plant Science with honors, Jacob Asirati. <laughs> Amirul Farid bin Ab Malek. <laughs> Louis George Dorenbaum. <laughs> Martina Metudiva Stoikova. Kobe Bradley Tunnicliffe. <laughs> and in plant science with industrial and or professional experience with honors, Freya Helena Carmen Bailey. <laughs> Bethany Charlotte Love. Zara Olivia Vivian Irene Riches. <laughs> and for the degree of Integrated Master of Science in Plant Science with honors, Helen Fjord. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biology, Nor Christina Binti Hassan. I can now ask all the graduates to stand up, please. And put your hats on. So for a final chance to congratulate them in here.
you, you'll have more opportunity to celebrate uh, outside, I think. But I now declare this ceremony closed. Thank you very much.